Hold up. Hold up. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. I have my dandelion chai milk tea. And it is so good. Um, so, today I wanted to talk about a topic that's kind of important to me. It's a lesson that I've learned growing up. And that is to share my interests with the people around me. Growing up, I was always very reluctant to show the things I was interested in to people around me. For example, the fact that I liked anime growing up, the fact that I listened to K-pop, the fact that I loved K-dramas, or various other things. Even my fashion style was kind of different when I was little. And, you know, it, I guess I cared what people thought when I was in school. And so I changed it to suit what I th believed they would find acceptable. But there's a problem with doing that because at that point you're no longer being yourself, right? And the most like-minded, truest friends I have found at this age of my life are simply there because I was willing to share myself with them. And I'm very grateful to have people in my life who accept me for me, you know? And I really truly think that you can only ever find those people if you readily accept yourself first. If you're willing to show your true self to the people around you, then the people who can't accept you filter out and you have space for the people who do accept you to come into your life and you know there's a bunch of people in my past that I've cut out because I realized you know they aren't for me we're different and it's fine to be different but what I mean is they couldn't accept me for who I was or that they simply all those people who I used to be friends with were friends with me because of the person I used to show them, not the real me, right? So ever since I came into uni, I started finding people who are genuinely into the same things as me. I have some dark chocolate because it's so good. Mmm. 90% dark chocolate. That's good stuff. You know, I really truly think that if you want to find people who understand you for who you are and accept you for who you are, the only way to do that is by readily accepting yourself first. The people in my life I have now are so like-minded to me. I never even thought that I could find people who who think like me, who share the same values as me, who like the same things as me. And there's still people in my life who don't like the same things as me. But because I was open to them about the things that I like, I have seen that they're open-minded and they accept me for that anyway. And there was also people in my life who I realised don't share the same values as me. They don't aren't interested in the same- they aren't interested in the same things as me and that's fine but I'm not gonna keep them around because I don't have room for them there's only room for me there's only room for the people who genuinely care about me in my life because I don't want to keep around anyone else who's who's not gonna accept me for who I am, you know? when I was in school I always felt like there wasn't a single person around me who understood me no one really understood me on a deeper level, no one understood where I was coming from, and honestly, maybe no one ever will. But there's, a, you know, I never really understood.
as to why that was i'd always ask myself why why is it that no one there's like literally no one who can just understand me is it because we all have different values or like i couldn't fathom what is it that is causing that it was less of a realization and more of a like thing that i learned over time is that different people understand different parts of you because people only understand what they themselves have gone through and everyone's at different parts of their life for example i never understood what heartbreak felt like until i went through it i couldn't ever relate to my friends who've been through relationships and just you know complain about their heartbreaks because I'd never been through it. How am I supposed to understand an emotion I've never felt before? You know? So I think it was part of me just like breaking those expectations of finding people who understand every single aspect of me and more just accepting myself for who I am, not being afraid to share the things I find interesting, not being afraid to share my interests, my values and being unafraid to show my vulnerable side to people because when you do that people come into your life who have understood those emotions as well maybe they've been through the same thing maybe they've seen someone who's been through the same thing maybe they like the same thing as you but it wasn't until that point having that level of trust and feeling a little bit vulnerable around people that i realized okay there are people who genuinely understand me Maybe they understand every part of me. We will have our disagreements, perhaps. But honestly, I can say for a fact that there are some people in my life right now who understand me on a really wide spectrum of emotions. And we're not exactly, the, I don't like, we're not the same people, but all different, right? I think it's really naive to expect another person to understand you in every single way. Like, no one's ever going to know you truly deep down everyone's always got something that someone else can't really connect with and that's fine you know as long as you accept it you know <laughs> mm. Ultimately, I know that I am simply an accumulation of the people around me. I know that the person I am now is only thanks to everybody else I've met up, to, up till this point. There's like this saying that, this, that says you're the average of your friends and I honestly think it's true. That's why it's so important to only keep people in your life who you truly value, who truly value you in the way you deserve. I have so much I can say on this topic. <laughs> so yes, I talk about this kind of stuff all the time to my friends, to myself a lot of the time. And I think everyone needs that reminder every now and then. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to say. I just want to do more of these like chill deep chats with tea kind of thing on my channel i just think it's very me i'm the kind of person that can't do like the really superficial kind of talk i get straight to the deep stuff so thanks for tuning in today i hope you find some peace in this video for the full experience i hope you did drink some tea while you were watching if not go and get some tea now <laughs> i will see you again soon peace out